Let's create several high-end home decor DIYs and then style them right here in the kitchen and also in my bedroom. We are going to start off creating a beautiful centerpiece for this kitchen island. We're gonna start off with a large marble Lazy Susan. I love using marble at the base of my centerpieces because it is classy. It elevates your centerpiece and makes it look expensive. Plus it raises it up a bit, so it gives it that extra height. This Lazy Susan is from Home Goods. I love the detail around the edges. It's just so pretty. Right here in the front, I'm going to add a plate. This is a thrifted plate and I love the gold scalloped edges that it has. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a glass candy jar. I'm gonna remove the lid so I just have the glass base. And I'm gonna put that right in the center of my plate. And then inside of the base of the candy jar, I'm going to put a candle in there. This just adds a beautiful extra touch. It makes it look a little fancier. I love how we've got the white and gold plate the glass candy jar base, and then our candle. Layering is such a great way to get an expensive look so easily. Now to the side, we are going to get a ginger jar and remove the lid. And then I grabbed a whole bunch of spring stems. I've got some white Chinese lanterns, some pale pink flowers, and a soft sage leaf and I just put them in here, you guys. It was so easy, just poked them right in. And I love the height of these flowers and leaves. We are going to go grand on this centerpiece and one way to do it is by adding height. In my video last week, I revealed our color scheme for spring and it's this gorgeous cornflower blue. And what I did was I added some ribbon that I purchased at Walmart to the neck of some ginger jars last week and displayed them on my entertainment center. Well, this week we are gonna take the same ribbon and we're gonna wrap it around the top of the ginger jar. This ties those two spaces together and it also introduces this color scheme into the kitchen area. It's such an easy thing to do. It's a great way to theme your seasonal colors. So I'm just gonna add this beautiful ginger jar to this side of my marble Lazy Susan. And then over here, I just have a large white urn I purchased this at Home Goods. It's a classy piece, it's a neutral piece, and it goes along with every season and holiday. So I'm just gonna add that right to the side of our ginger jar. And now we're all finished with our spring centerpiece display. This centerpiece brings in our color scheme. It adds that freshness because of the flowers. It's seasonal because again of the flowers and the color scheme. It's got height to it. It's got dimension, it has marble and glass and ceramic, and by combining all of those materials, it gives your centerpiece a lot of interest. Not only is this centerpiece beautiful in my kitchen, but you could create something similar and put it on your tabletop, your foyer table, your coffee table. It was so easy, anyone could do it. Now that our centerpiece is done, let's move back to the backsplash and create some more spring touches over there. I'm going to create some smaller centerpieces and place them on either side of my cooktop. We again are gonna start off with a marble slab. This is a cutting board. I purchased this at Ross. It's a great base for what we're putting on top. Next, we are going to get another thrifted plate. This was only 99 cents at my thrift store and it has the same color scheme as the plate that we have on our centerpiece. It's white with a scalloped edge that's gold. This is going to go on top of my marble piece and then we are going to add a beautiful floral arrangement to the top of the plate. I'm using the same flowers that I used on my centerpiece. I've got the white flowers, the pale pink flowers, the white Chinese lanterns, and then I also added in some lamb's ear because I think lamb's ear is such a beautiful leaf for this time of year. It's that soft sage green, and to me it just feels springy. So I'm gonna add this flower arrangement to the top of the plate. 
I created an exact replica of this small size centerpiece right here on this side of the cooktop. I use the same flowers and marble and plate. I love how it brings balance and symmetry to this space. And by using those same flowers, it ties in the centerpiece that's on the center island. Another great way to add a pop of color seasonally is with a decorative plate. Now, decorative plates can get pretty expensive, so we are going to create our own. What you're gonna need is a plain plate. You can select whichever color that fits in with your color scheme. I chose a white plate with a gold rim. You can get a fancy plate. You can pick up a plate from the Dollar Tree. It's up to you. So what I'm gonna do with this plate is add a pop of color with a cornflower blue flower in the center. In my Cricut Design Space, I clicked on New Project. I clicked on Images. In the search bar, I typed in Ornate Flower Stem. A whole lot of choices came up. I scrolled down until I found this one, which I loved. I selected it and hit Add to Canvas. Now I can size it to the size that I need. So I just went up to the top and I typed in the appropriate size and it sized it and then I hit duplicate because I want two of these and I wanted them to be mirror images of each other so I flipped the other one so it was opposite and then clicked make it. I will be using my mat so I selected on the mat and then hit continue. It sorted it onto my mats and then I clicked continue once more. Now I can select my material. I am using a premium removable vinyl and then I always select more on the pressure. I pressed the flashing arrow button which loaded my material into my Cricut Maker. Then I hit the flashing start button which began the cutting process. Once my design was 100% cut, I hit that flashing arrow button again which released my material. I cut my material into two separate pieces, that way I had two separate flowers. And then I began to weed away the excess vinyl that was around the flowers. Now that everything's been weeded away from our design, I got some transfer tape and I placed that over the top. I pressed it firmly together with my scraper tool and then removed the backing from the vinyl. Now I can take my floral design and place it in the center of my white plate. I pressed the vinyl to the plate with my scraper tool and then removed the transfer tape. Once I was finished adding the floral vinyl to my first plate, I did the exact same thing with my second plate. Now I have two beautifully decorated seasonal plates that I was able to create for an affordable price. Now look at how beautiful this plate is. That design is just so pretty. And the pop of blue is just what my cabinets need to tie in the color scheme. So I'm going to take my plates and I'm going to add them to my upper cabinets with glass fronts. I placed one on one side of the cooktop and one on the other. These seasonal plates are an original decorative item that customizes my seasonal decor. The color of the flowers integrate perfectly with the other pops of blue throughout my kitchen and family room. We were able to create these one-of-a-kind decorative plates on a budget. By adding these easy DIY pieces to my kitchen, it looks refreshed and ready for spring. I love using flowers for seasonal decorating. It is an effective way to infuse your living space with the spirit of each season. Now I wanted to add some flower arrangements here in my bedroom. So what I did was I headed over to Hobby Lobby to look for some containers, which I found and they were 50% off. I love a good bargain. That means that I can get two for the price of one. These containers were a great size. They had a great shape and I love the details on them. So for $22.99, I was able to pick up two of these containers. Now we need some flowers to go inside. And while I was at Hobby Lobby, I headed over to the floral section and I found these flowers in a perfect shade of cornflower blue. So I picked up a few stems of these and they were only $2.99 a piece. The remaining flowers that I'm using in my floral arrangement, I already have at home. I selected a variety of white and cream flowers. 
First up, we are going to create a tape grid over the top of our container. So I got my scotch tape and I ran two lines across the top of the container vertically and two lines horizontally. Next, I took my stems of flowers and I bent the stem. The reason why I bend the stem is because I can get it to the correct height that I want, but then I can also reuse these flowers later on simply by unbending the stem. Then I'm able to use these for another project in the future. I wanted this flower arrangement to be abundant, so I added a lot of flowers. Then I took my cornflower blue flowers and placed them to the sides and one in the upper center. Now that all of my florals are in place, I'm going to add some lamb's ear to this arrangement. I think lamb's ear is a quintessential spring botanical. I love the soft velvety sage tone of these little lamb's ear leaves. Now that I have all the leaves in place, we are finished with our floral arrangement. I mimicked this arrangement almost identically to our second container. I used those same flowers and lamb's ear. I wanted these arrangements to look identical because they are going to be placed on the top of each of my nightstands. And here we have it. These are our spring floral arrangements that are going to be displayed on the nightstands in my bedroom. I placed these floral arrangements in the center of my nightstand. I also have my ginger jars to the side that are on top of the gold rounds. And of course, I've got my bird lamps. I love these lamps and they fit in so perfectly. So I purchased them from Home Goods. They are beautiful during the entire year, but spring is their time to shine. I love the way that these floral arrangements look. They are classy because of the traditional shape of the container. The white and cream flowers keep this arrangement neutral, but the pop of the cornflower blue themes them into spring. These were so easy to create and they look stunning. I like changing out my bedding for the changing seasons, but I like to do it affordably. One very cost efficient way for you to do that is by changing out the pillows. And we are going to do that today with some pillow coverings. You can buy pillow coverings so affordably. I get them at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. I've also gotten them in the past at Ikea very affordably. So you can get some pillow coverings without breaking the bank. So the pillow covering that I'm actually using today is one that I already have. It's a white pillow covering and it has a gold trim around it. And we're going to be creating a floral detail to put in the center and we are going to be doing it with some smart gold iron on vinyl. In my Cricut Design Space, I clicked on new project. I went over to images. In the search bar, I typed in ornate flower. Several options came up. They had a great selection. I scrolled down until I decided on this flower right here. I selected it and then I hit add to canvas. Now I can size my flower to the size I need that will fit on my pillow covering. I simply just typed in the size at the top. Once it was appropriately sized, I hit make it. Because I'm using a smart material, I am going to be selecting without a mat and then hit continue. Because this is an iron on, I'm going to select the mirror button and then press continue. Now I can choose my material. I am using a smart iron on vinyl and I always choose more on the pressure. I hit the flashing arrow button, which loaded my material into my maker. Then I hit the flashing start button, which began the cutting process. Once everything was 100% done cutting, I hit that flashing arrow again, which released my material. I weeded away the excess iron on vinyl from my floral detail. Then I got my easy press and I heated it up to 330 degrees and set the timer for 30 seconds. I measured my pillow and then I put the decal in the center of the pillow covering. Then I took my easy press, placed it over the top, and then hit the start button. Once the 30 seconds was up, I removed the easy press and shifted it over and started the countdown again. I did this a few times to make sure that each part of the vinyl was heated up properly. Now I can remove the protective covering over the top of my vinyl. 
This floral detail already enhances this pillow covering so much, but we are going to add one more detail. And we are going to do that with some small flowers that I found at Hobby Lobby. I was in the wedding section and I found these adorable lace flowers with a pearl detail in the center. And this package of 12 was a great deal. I'm going to take four of these flowers. I've got three of the larger flowers and one smaller one, and I'm going to add them to the center of the smaller flowers on my pillow covering. Of course, you can sew these on, but I'm going to use some fabric glue. So I added a dab of the fabric glue to the back of the lacy flower and then placed it in the center of the vinyl flower. I repeated this process with all of my flowers. Once the flowers were in place, I let the glue dry overnight. This extra embellishment is just what this pillow covering needed. I added a down pillow insert inside of my pillow covering. And now we are finished with our pillow. Look at how cute that is. It is perfect for spring. I love the gold vinyl. I love these adorable lacy flowers. These were such a great addition to this pillow covering. It makes it look unique, one of a kind, and personalized. It complements my spring theme and definitely elevates the look of my bedding. I'm going to place this pillow in the center of my bedding. This pillow elevates the look of my bedding we were able to get a custom look but didn't have to pay the high price to theme my bedding seasonally. These subtle spring decorating touches have rejuvenated my bedroom. These pieces make this space look fresh, energized, and removed for this vibrant spring season. I love the way the kitchen looks with its fresh new decor, and of course this bedroom space looks fantastic with its subtle elegant pieces and small pops of color. I was still able to decorate these spaces with neutrals, but by adding the pop of color with the flowers, ribbon, and decorative plates, it infuses these spaces with spring. I hope you got some inspiration or some ideas today, but more importantly than that, I hope that you can see that you can live beautifully throughout this entire year by creating some DIY decor pieces affordably we were able to create elegant, beautiful pieces on a budget. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, I would love to have you subscribe so I can share those with you. Thank you so much for watching.